Conservator maintains links between videos, datasets, and folders. In this tutorial, we will explore these links. When you open a dataset, the left panel displays the videos that contributed to the dataset. If the list of videos is long, use the left and right arrow buttons to retrieve other parts of the list. By clicking on a video name, you'll limit the display to frames that came from that video. As you can see from the list, there are five frames that came from the first video in the list. If you click on another video name, Conservator additionally shows the frames contributed by that video. Note the OR connective in the search bar. If you click on a video name a second time, it deselects it. You can deselect all such videos by clicking on the small x in the query summary below the search bar. Clicking on the three dots next to a file name opens up a pop-up menu. The first item, Open in New Browser tab, opens that entire video in a new browser tab. The second item in the menu, Push Back Annotations, will overwrite annotations in the original video with those of the dataset. Since this is an irreversible operation, Conservator requires that you confirm it. The third option is similar, only this time we are overwriting dataset annotations with annotations from the video. Again, confirmation is required because this operation is irreversible. Finally, the fourth option removes all the frames in the dataset that came from this video. Again, confirmation is required. Any time you select a frame from a dataset, you can see the video it came from in the right side panel, the Tools panel. Let's turn our attention to videos. We'll begin by searching for a specific video by name while in the All Videos view. The video is already selected. Notice that by scrolling to the bottom of the Tools panel, we can identify the projects and folders, if any, containing this video. By clicking on a button identifying the video's location, we navigate to that folder in that project. Now we'll try a different kind of link. Given a video, find the datasets that contain one or more of its frames. We'll start by clicking on the same video, currently shown in its folder. By scrolling down the right-hand panel, we see that the selected video has contributed one or more frames to two different datasets. You can click on a dataset button to visit that dataset. As we saw earlier, while visiting the dataset, you can click on this video's name or its frame count to display the frames that it contributed.